Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out my new Castoff 762 class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 20 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a bunch. Let's jump straight into the attachments. To start us off with, I'm going to be going over the barrel first. I'm using the Casto Castovia 343. It adds aim down sight speed, hip recoil control. The cons are damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. For the tuning, I'm going to be going with 0.35 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and 0.25 inches to the length to add damage range. Over on the muzzle, I'm going to be using the Lockshot KT85. It adds vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control, which is really, really big with this gun, in my opinion. The cons are aimed on sight speed and aiming stability. For the tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 0.59 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed. And I'm going to put it all the way over for the length to for gun kick control. Over on the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the commando foregrip to add aiming auto stability and recoil stabilization. The cons are aimed down sight speed. For the underbarrel tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 0.54 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.26 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the true tight grip for the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. In my opinion, this is probably the best rear grip in this game. The cons are recoil control. For the tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 0.71 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.31 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. And last but not least, for the stock, I'm going to be using the Markeev R7 stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. For the stock tuning, I'm going with negative 2.45 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed, and negative 1.63 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Overall, this is a really good gun. I'm pretty sure it is banned on rank play. It's either this one or the 545. But overall, it's a good gun. It shreds. I highly recommend trying this class setup. And if you do, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I'm pretty sure it's a little old. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to be checking out my no recoil cast off 762 class. I'm just get hit with tear gas. What is this? Like I said, it's mostly built out for recoil. I didn't do any aim down sight. Okay. gonna go around here <clears throat> is that another person okay I knew I wasn't I can't hit him at all what what was that Like, I'm kind of scared to move around with this gun because it's so uh, recoil heavy. Or no recoil heavy, I should say. It's kind of hard to actually push people. What, what am I playing against? That's the second time he's been laying on the ground. Anyways, we got a UAV now. Kind of... See where they're all gonna be at. Hopefully they don't push. They're all spawning right here. We have another. We have another UAV here. Copy that. UAV is on station. He's all ready to deploy. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. Oh, 
Oh my god. Get off of me. I knew I wasn't gonna. I had a Molotov right in front of me. I'm gonna pop this advanced UAV. I don't really want to go towards the hard point because I want them to stay on the hard point as long as possible. So my team doesn't end it. My team is on the hard point again. Hopefully my team doesn't stay on the hard point too much longer. through the middle. Where's this guy at? Oh, I need these guys right here to go to the hard point. My teammates don't want to leave. Like, what are y'all doing? Gonna have to chase these guys down. <clears throat> I knew I heard somebody, but I thought he was on the other side of the wall. It's 150 to 30 right now. Enemy down! Got another UAV. My teammate is right back on the hard point. If I rush, I could just get a bunch of kills. So, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Rush everything. I don't want a boring gameplay for you guys. Where is this person? right here. Probably gonna die to my VTOL. No, never mind. Another advanced UAV. Fifty six kills. Advanced UAV does wonders whenever you get it. Setting at 64 kills. If I can make it to 70 kills, that'd be a really good game. It's not gonna be a 70 kills. 67 kills, GG's.